Max, you got to get in the back, buddy. Are you, are you comfy in my seat? All right, seriously, get in the back. Get, get in the back. Come on, Max, let's go, get in the back. <laughs> um, Max, get in the back. Oh, jeez. Come on. All right. All right. Come here. Get in the back. Let's go. Load up. There we go. Little detour in Miami. We made it to uh, John Pennekamp State Park. Here's our site, site number 10. Um, some beautiful trees around it. Uh, they're pretty close, but semi-private because of all the, the ve vegetation. And uh, it looks like we have, um, we've got power. They had 30 and 50 amp hookups, water, um, and sewer, uh, which we will not hook up to because we're only in this spot for one night. And then, we will, and they got grills with them right there, and some kind of water behind it. I would have to assume it's either salt water or at least brackish water behind it. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna hook up uh, all our hookups or even put our stabilizers down tonight um, because we are moving tomorrow. That's how we're able to get three nights here. Is we got one night in this spot and two nights in another spot. So. Tomorrow we'll set up everything 100%. Right now, we're watching for critters to come out of this hole in the ground down here. And uh, we're gonna go, I think, check out the beach. Yeah. Check out the beach and uh, probably grill. I think we got some chicken we can grill up on the grill. Chicken and steak. Chicken and steak, it's Father's Day. I forgot about that, so. All right, we'll catch up with you later. Y'all can see that. Look how long his neck is. My gosh. Yeah, it's just soft stuff. Very long neck on him. There's a sort of remanufactured shipwreck that we can snorkel. So hopefully we get a chance to come down here with the mask and snorkel and get some video with the GoPro on that one. Autumn's just gonna go ahead and swim in her shorts and tank top. The water is so inviting. It's warm, it's clear. It's This way you can see the sharks and the crocodiles coming. There's not much sand, but I do have my toes in the water. And you can see them. Yeah, it's clear. Very clear. I can't wait to snorkel it. Go see that shipwreck they put out there. Way over there. What do you think Jake's doing? First thing, he's going fishing. Day one, already action packed. Check out this guy we saw right next to Cannon Beach. Autumn, walk a little closer so we can see how big he is. Don't get bit. They're pretty aggressive. Are they? I don't know. I made that up. <laughs> they might be.
Come on, you're gonna get ate by something bigger than you. Yeah, right? <laughs> Max, come on. Come on. <laughs> no chasing iguanas. No. Bad. So what happened, Dad? Why is Max getting a bath? And why does he look so ashamed? <laughs> I don't think he's ashamed. I think he's upset he got caught and had to come back and not chase that iguana. He chased that iguana all the way across the canal. Luckily, all the way he's a across. good boy. And he listened and he came back. Right. Jacob cruising in Key Largo. Why am I driving? Because you're a good driver. Come on up here a little ways. Let's see what's up here. Right. Pretend like I'm not videotaping you. This will probably be in some kind of a music montage. Yeah. Or I might just leave the audio in just for fun. Yeah. Don't worry, Jake. If you get pulled over, I'll videotape the whole thing. Oh, God. Okay, you want to cross. That's about to say. All right, guys. So, we're at the uh, Yellow Bait House. We just talked to Leo, right? Yeah. Uh, he had all kinds of good advice. Has really good prices on the bait and the tackle and uh, everything that we needed. I was super, super impressed. I, I think we could get better prices here than we could have got at Walmart yeah. even on some of the stuff. So he gave us like at least a dozen more shrimp than we yeah. paid for. Yeah, he gave us extra shrimp than what we paid for. And, and he gave us a bubbler. A bu uh, right. Bubble oxygen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and a lot of good advice. So we're going to go catch some fish. But if you're down Key Largo, stop in and see Leo at uh, the Yellow Bait House. So really cool. Go get him. Caught some fish with the shrimp we got from the bait shop earlier. And uh, I think we're going to go back and get some more shrimp. Yep, and fish for bigger fish. How are we going to do that? We're going to hook the live shrimp up on a hook on a split shot weight. Cast it like below the mangro mangroves. And hopefully we can get some mangrove snappers. Just some other kind of fish. and. Yeah, maybe some barracuda. Yeah, whatever is there. I talked to a fellow who said there's some big tarpon out there. Well, you have to catch and release those, so. Right. That still would be great. Yeah. All right, y'all. Right, so when we got here, uh, the truck was showing a little bit of over temp after idling. Um, we cut it off and went right back down and. We haven't seen a problem with it since, uh, but as I was checking some things out, I noticed that the coolant was low. So what we're going to do is add some coolant. Thanks to Joe at Wheaton's Garage, we are able to get the exact coolant we need from Ford. Uh, super pumped about that, and I got some distilled water from the Publix right down the road here from John Pennekamp State Park. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that in now, and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too much, and we'll try and figure out where we're losing it from. But uh, Obviously, it's a very slow, slow leak, it seems like, right now. All right, so it is hotter than sin outside. We are sweating like the devil. Uh, so we are going to hit the road, leave John Pennekamp State Park. And uh, we got one main adventure in mind, uh, not too far down the road here, uh, maybe 45 minutes, an hour away. We can hand feed tarpon. That's what we're told. We can hand feed tarpon. So we are going to look at doing that. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, kind of fun sounding event. So we're going to do that and see what other adventure we can uh, find outside of the park. That's right. That's right. <laughs>
That is awesome. What do you think, guys? I think my my is definitely the best. Yeah, I think uh, Robbie's is more than just a tourist attraction. They got a really good little restaurant here, right on right on the waterfront. Definitely worth a stop. Easy parking, easy off the highway one. Got to swing by. All right, so I have heard a Bloody Mary be called lunch in a cup before, but uh, the Hungry Tarpon Restaurant here at Robbie's in Ala Mirada takes it to a whole new level. This is truly lunch in a cup. Ridiculous. That is crazy. Shrimp and olives and pickles and I don't know, I, I think green beans. Looks like a beef jerky stick, some bacon. <laughs> Some celery. Crazy. And a great view to boot. The beauty of this water surpasses my expectations. I don't think the video will even do it justice. Something you have to see for yourself. Right off of Highway 1. It's absolutely incredible. So the big moment has arrived. The moment we've all been waiting for. Picking out the perfect bucket. What are we doing today? Deep hand feeding park. Hand feeding tarpon is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, go on ahead. I mean, look how big those are. Yeah. Pull the bag and watch this. Hello. Holy moly. Oh, that was wicked. Off the, the roadside, chilling in the keys. I got towels. I sort of thought this might happen.
up. How is it? It's good? Really good. Nicely done. Okay, Autumn. <laughs> this is happening right here. Okay, a little bit of line. Yeah. All right. Is it great? Oh. Right. She got the horseradish? Yeah. So? <laughs> what's your what's your verdict on raw oysters? I swallowed it as fast as I could.